Welcome to another edition of DXB Today, where tonight, well, getting into the festive spirit, but we're also talking brand, the importance of brand. To you personally, to your company, to a country like the UAE, to a city like Dubai, it is all about the brand. How do you build it? How do you differentiate between product and brand? And can it evolve? A couple of questions that we set out to answer tonight. Uh, let's see what's coming up on the show. Louis went down to Art Femme's Paint and Dine to experience their inclusive platform of creativity. We're going to be meeting the CEO of Idea Spy, Sadja Ansar, to discuss why every company should work on their branding. And Nimi caught up with global humanitarian Gurudev Sri Sri Ravi Shankar to discuss spirituality and sustainability. And of course, to wrap it all up, we've got a festive performance by one of my favorites, Shinwa, who's with us today. He's amazing. This is a performance you don't want to miss. Guys, did those rehearsals get you in the festive spirit just listening to him? I don't think there's, there's, there's not much risk of that with uh, the mood that Amy's in at the moment. I tell you, I'm amazed that she's not getting dressed up as, 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 as in the festive spirit. Well, just, if, just yet, yeah? I, well, not yet. If I was allowed to, I would definitely be all dressed up for the festive <laughs> season. I've had my Christmas tree up nearly a month already. I mean, why too? I it's it. great. I mean, it's a lot of effort, right? If we're going to put it up. Might as yeah, exactly. We've got to enjoy it. Exactly. Um, what are your plans, guys? some activities, anything happening in Dubai that we should inform the wonderful people of the UAE? Well, it's busy. I mean, Dubai is busy and ordinarily you see a little bit of a tail off as soon as the schools break up, things get a little bit easier on the roads, events start to drip away, but not this year. This year it's busy, busy, busy all the way through uh, until the end of the year. So get out and about uh, and be part of Brand Dubai at the moment. That's well, something that we're going to be talking about. In yeah, lots of performances and concerts and Christmas markets. What are you up to, Amy? Um, I'm going to do a very traditional Christmas day, but I'm working right up until Christmas Eve. As Tom just said, like there's so much going on in the city, but lots of events. But uh, yeah, definitely lots of fab stuff going on. We are discussing all things brand here for you tonight. Brand Dubai is booming at the moment. Brand UAE uh, is, of course, known around the world. Um, the authorities here really have worked on their brand over the years. But the question we are putting to you is not so much about country branding, it's more about personal branding, business branding, uh, uh, and uh, the evolution of that brand. Is it something you're conscious of? Uh, personal branding, yeah, but I feel like today we're focusing all on companies. But yeah, I, I have a lot, a lot of questions that I have to ask, and I'm particularly excited by our guest co-host today. Should we find out who it is? Hi, my name is Lucy Bradley. I'm the brand commander for Plug and see you a bit later on the show today. Lucy will join us right here in just a little bit. But first, Louis went down to Art Femme's Paint and Dine, a creative service offering aspiring artists in the region a social art experience with a side of their favorite delicacies. Let's take a look. Are you looking to do something new in Dubai that unleashes your creativity in an inclusive space where there's good food and live entertainment? Well, then you better join me here at Art Femme's Paint and Dine event. Let's go. I'm here right now with Akmo, the founder of Art Femme, and of course, one of the brilliant minds behind the Paint and Dine event that we are about to get into today. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, how are you? Thanks I'm for having me. Doing good. Thank you for joining us. And of course, this wonderful event that we're about to kick off right now. So I know you have a different theme for every night. Could you tell us about the theme for tonight and why? So tonight's theme is Twilight. Oh, yes. So it is about this time where sun is getting down. So it's kind of getting cozy and dark and people are going home and they instead of going home what they do they pass by paint and dye to unleash their creativity to unwind to uh, be creative to have a good quality food with their friends and family and after they go home take their beautiful art and go home wonderfully said now are there any new projects any other kinds of events that are in the pipeline for art film by each yes so many i'm very excited for 2024 to be honest uh, at the moment art film has 10 week painting course so for people who kind of got a lot of paint and dine and then they were like okay now i want to go for a higher level of art what can i do so we've built a 10 week uh 
course where people can learn all the basics of painting from zero and they're going to cover like all the subjects of like portrait painting figure painting landscape painting abstract painting and all of it you know from from zero to 200 we have our candle art branches so it's a candle art workshop where it's the same experience but you get to do a very creative yummy looking candles on your own while combining the of course the dining parts the beautiful venue aesthetic part and the music part this sounds all very exciting and we're all looking forward to see more of art fem in the coming months and years so let's get started thank you so much Atmo. Thank, thank you so much you can try it for yourself just watch out for the next event and if you want to find out more about the artsiest events in dubai and the rest of the uae keep on watching dxp today we're yet to see the masterpiece delivered to the studio but we're told it's en route at the moment from <laughs> ldc now our guest co-host today is a brand commander with a mission to find creative solutions for Dubai-based companies. Please welcome uh, Lucy Bradley onto the show. Lucy, great to see you as always. Yeah, great to be here. It's Can my we... first time on TV. Well, You're doing fantastic yeah, already. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's all part of the brand. It's fine. It's all good. Listen, let's do some definitions if we can, uh, because branding is a competitive market and everyone's looking to set themselves apart, be it company or otherwise. And so are you as well as branders, uh, a brand commander. How do you command a brand? <laughs> well, I think it's all about out here consistency, um, really listening to your customers, staying in touch with your customers and um, and having a great brand. We all interact with brands that we love. You know, there's something about them that we love. Might be that they're super expensive or they're fun, the way that their message is put out there. and as brand custodians of our own businesses, we should also be doing that. So, so great commanders, and if I'm to put my sort of military hat on here, and great commanders rely on tactics as well. Yes. Tactics to get ahead of the enemy. Um, oh. Not so much enemy here, more competition the competitors, in the field. Yeah, the, the competitors, competitors out there. So are tactics imperative if you want to get ahead? Well, my forte is, um, and uh, that's a great analogy, is um, I'm a tactical marketeer. So that is my thing that I focus the most on is tactical marketing. So who am I trying to reach? Who is that ideal customer? And we should know that. As business owners, we should know who we're trying to talk to. Mm. If we don't, then we really need to have a think about that. Because once you know who you're trying to target, the message, the look and feel of your brand becomes so much easier mm. because we are speaking to them. We're not trying to get everyone into our businesses. So once you know that, then the tactic is the message. So how do I get my message to this particular business, this mm. particular company? How do I get in front of them? Do we send a very laborious email? Do mm -hmm. we waste our time on social media? Or do we just think of something creative to send to them? Mm. And that's what I do. So there you're talking about like reaching out to your audience. How do you help your clients um, like stand out against their competitors? Um, I look at, um, it's, a, it's a good question, I look at what the other competitors are doing and, um, and I find creative ways to stand out and how, how could that be? Could it be compelling messaging? Could it be using photography? Could it be, you know, all different things? What, what are they doing? And it's, um, it's how, how do we stand out? It might be just down to consistency. Maybe we talk to them more often but there's, there's lots of easy ways. It's not hard out here to stand out. Yeah. So let's talk about a specific um, brand here that you have helped. I want to actually hear some of this advice you've given them. And one thing you've said to me is that the numbers don't lie. So what platform do you recommend the most for them getting their messaging and their branding out there? And what are some of the, if you have a good example of a, a brand you've helped shine, what's something that you've helped them execute? Yeah, so I, I've worked with lots of, I, firstly, I've worked with lots of small businesses. It could be, you know, woman entrepreneurs. 
men entrepreneurs, uh, you know, it could be small businesses, it could be in different sectors. So when you said platforms, the one of the things that I love more than anything is data, customer data. So we spend a lot of time on these platforms looking for client acquisition. So when we get clients into the business, I think where a lot of businesses go wrong out here is it's always new clients, new clients, we need to find new clients. Oh, let's offer a discount. Let's, let's just keep posting to our heart's content. We'll get more mm. clients. We'll spend money on ads, get more clients. But they don't service the ones they've got. So I'm sure you know we all go out and spend money in our favourite places. And we're you know, down to the salons we go to, the restaurants we go to, all of these places. You'll notice that they don't really remarket to you. And it's far easier and cheaper to get you back into the business rather than new clients, new clients, it's more expensive. But the thing I enjoy working with clients the most is data. And you'll be amazed at how many businesses that have been going five, six, seven, eight years. Who's got the data? We don't have any data. And that is, that's your gold mine. But that, that data changes. And this is what I always don't get with brands. Maybe you can help me out yeah. here because when it, you know, when it's when it's personal and you get older and your sort of interests change, etc. But with a business, and if you've got a business brand, is consistency key, or do you have to move yeah. with the times? Do you have to evolve? Yeah, yeah, you do. But I mean, audiences will change. People will drop off. We're in a very transient place. People will move on. We perhaps we don't want to engage with this brand anymore. But you want to be constantly grooming your database. Am I allowed to say grooming? Um, grooming your database, so new clients are coming into the business, other, biz other customers are leaving the business for whatever reason. So you want to be always looking after this data and nurturing this data and the more. And remember, my favourite thing is numbers, where everything I do is underpinned by numbers because they don't lie. Mm. So the more frequently you do something, so if you're starting to send out, you know, maybe some targeted campaigns, the more you start engaging with your customers, your numbers will move. So if they keep moving upwards, that tells you that you want to keep doing it. The open rates open, the click throughs improve. And we've seen it with many of our clients. If you just do it sporadically, oh, I don't want to annoy people. I don't want to be bombarded. I'm not telling you to do it at 10 o'clock at night. I'm doing, <laughs> doing hours. Mm. You see what's happening. So, um, so for me, it's not about what platforms we're all wasting our time on, sorry, spending our time on. Yeah. It's really getting those the customer in and managing that data, managing that customer experience and remarketing. And I get that for many businesses, that's not possible, but I'm talking about service businesses. We're on a brand voyage for you today. Lisa's gonna stay with us uh, for just a little while. So coming up, we meet the CEO of Idea Spice to discuss why every single company should be working on their branding and how to leverage AI to the same. Plus, we've got a very talented artist performing for us tonight, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> 